Conservative New Media peeps, what's up? It's me, John D. Villarreal. Hey, we have an important, a critically important science situation here, a science story. It's now breaking, and we have the article listed below, that scientists have found some of the building blocks or ingredients for life, not in a water-filled, uh, Earth-like atmosphere on another planet, but rather in superheated meteorites. Now, why is that important? Hey, JDV, so what? I'm talking about amino acids here. I'm talking about the building blocks for life, you know, basic type of stuff, right? And why this is important is these meteorites were, were heated to over 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit, right? Somewhere around there. And we never thought that that kind of life could ever exist in that kind of situation. Just like what we found those bacteria living in over there in Mono Lake, right? In the, in the primarily arsenic without the phosphorus type of situation. I mean, what this does is a couple things. Number one, it expands our range of thinking about the different environments where life, alien life, extraterrestrial life may exist. So we don't have to just look for worlds like Earth and everything like that. This can, the ET type of life, the alien life forms, could exist in all kinds of different places. Now we just found out about this thing in Titan's moon. I might do something on that. Or Titan is the moon, but you know what I mean. And, you know, there's the Mars thing, there's all these types of other things. So we now have to look at a lot of other places rather than just Earth-like places. That's number one. It expands the possibility of alien life forms in different areas in the universe. And that's huge. Number two, we have this perpetual debate between the creationists uh, the, and, and some of the intelligent design folks with the atheists and the evolutionary folks and people that believe some of both camps or whatever like that. And so the folks that believe in, you know, more exclusively, let's say, um, or well, not exactly, but the folks that are more uh, believe in the in the evolutionary and sort of more atheist type of, or at least a non-creationist explanation for how life got here on Earth. One of the theories is that a meteorite, you know, came down here and hit the Earth and started life, this and that, whatever. This shows that that may be more possible than ever. Now. You could go back to what Ben Einstein said, is what I said too. Okay, that's fine, but how did life get on the meteorite? And how did the universe start? All those questions are still back there and all that type of stuff. And they're still, they still can't be avoided. But the, the meteorite hitting the Earth theory now you know, potentially goes up a few notches as a possibility for how life started at least here on Earth. Again, does not settle what started the universe, is there a guy, anything like that, or whatever like that, because you still have to get back to the original Big Bang. That's a whole different other topic. And when I've talked about that, and we will talk about that more. But this now is a very exciting breaking development. We just brought it to you because we love all the science stuff at Conservative New Media. I've got the articles below, and I want to know what you think about it. You tell me what you think. Comments below, subscribe above. I want to hear from you. And you've been watching Conservative New Media.